I'm Melissa Gregg, a valuation expert in St. Louis, Missouri. One of the approaches business valuation companies will consider when providing a valuation of a company is the income approach. The income approach considers historical income, future revenues of a company, the earning potential, and also capital requirements, or how much will be needed to invest in the building and equipment to support the future revenue growth. There are a couple of ways to look at potential income of a company. One business valuation method, which falls under the income approach, is the discounted net cash flow, or DCF method. This method involves projecting the revenues, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, depreciation, working capital, and taxes for five to 10 years into the future. The next step is to discount this future revenue stream to the present, which most of you will recognize as a present value calculation. The discount rate is derived from several methods, such as build-up model or CAPM, for example. The business valuation expert will also have to take into consideration whether this is a control or minority interest and make an adjustment with a control premium or a discount for lack of control. These are business valuation terms, which we discuss in more detail in other videos. There can also be situations where there are liquidity or marketability issues for stock in closely held businesses. There are discounts for lack of marketability to cover these issues. As you can see, there are many steps to consider when valuing a company from the income approach, but at least now you know enough to be dangerous. If you'd like more information on business, valuations, methods to value a company, or how to find reputable business valuation companies in Chicago, New York, or St. Louis, check out our website at valuationstlouis.com or you can find additional videos on company valuation issues at youtube.com forward slash business valuation STL.